What's going on guys? I figured I'd make a quick little video here on how to set up your access port for data logging. So, if you end up getting a tune for me, I'm going to send you a parameter list, which I have my laptop handy here. So that's the list that's going to be in your email. Now, get into your vehicle, get your access port all set up to the gauges menu. Then you're gonna scroll up to the arrow and you're gonna hit configure data logging. Now in here, you're gonna go through each parameter. So this access port's already pre-configured, but if I wanted to remove something, you would select that. If you wanna add something, you would you know reselect it. Go down through the list, make sure this entire list matches this list. Make sure they're all there. Make sure you don't have every single parameter logged like some people do because they don't have the list in front of them. And then when you exit out of it, boom, you're, it's configured. Now when we log with the access port to do the logs that are in the email, I can see the parameters that we're trying to see for the sp specific revision. If for some reason I need to see more parameters or less parameters, I'll absolutely let you know and it would be the same procedure. I'm gonna end the video for now and then I'll get in uh, pulling a data log off of it. Okay, so we just got back from doing a log. Well, I'm on the dyno, so just got finished doing the log. Now you're gonna hook the laptop up to your access port using Access Port Manager. Connect to it. Hopefully it connects. Now the data log that I took is gonna be the highest number because that was the last log. So data log eight. Gonna click on it. I like to make a folder beforehand so it's nice and easy so that when I click the download button, the folder is just gonna pop up. So here we go. Select the folder. Already got my folder open down here. There's the data log that we just took. Open it up if you want to look at it. Otherwise, when you or when you get in your email, you can just hit compose, go to that folder that you just took the logs and select the last, you know, one, two, three, however many you took and then email it over. And then that's it, data logging complete.